Turn off that damn TV! His heart attack usually the end of the line for a workaholic. I'm glad you brought that up. If you switch on television, it's just uh, ridiculous and it's destructive. It kills us, and talk shows will will kill us. They kill our language. So we have to declare a holy war against uh, what we see at every single day on television, commercials, and I think there should be there should be real war against commercials, real war against talk shows, real war against Bonanza and Rawhide or all these uh, things. This, uh I didn't mean to, to eat this shoe uh, in public. I intended to, to eat it in the restaurant, but I was pushed a little bit into it, and it makes sense to some extent, because it should be an encouragement for all of you who want to make films and who are just scared to start and who haven't got the guts, so you can follow a good example. Uh, and. Um, I think it should also, I, I do this here in, in public because uh, I want to help Errol's film. It still has no release yet, and it should be released by one of the major studios, then I would be happy. And uh, that's why I'm here. And uh, you shouldn't worry about it. We cooked it for five hours, but uh, it's still <laughs> more stiff than before. So I brought, I brought some, uh, pair of poultry scissors and some sharp knives. You can have the same experience every single day you just drop in at a, a Kentucky Fried Chicken. I've survived so many I've survived so many Kentucky Fried Chicken, so it won't do harm to me. It's still a mystery. He borrowed money everywhere and he stole and he I don't know how he did it, but but that's a way to do it. If you want to do a film, steal a camera, steal raw stock, sneak into a, sneak into a lab and do it. I'm going to eat the other shoe once uh, that uh, 20th Century Fox or uh, Columbia or Warner Brothers takes it into distribution. Oh, no. So we are going to keep the other one. <laughs> Tell us about the social uses of film. What is the value of films for society? Kind of. <laughs> don't ask questions who, bigger who is, than you are. <laughs> who is society? <laughs> I don't know. Less I have kept wondering ever since I have been in contact with audiences. And I have wondered what the value of films was. And I think I don't know, it gives us some insight. It's like, um, it doesn't change. People have thought it would, films could cause uh, revolutions or whatever, and it does not. But um, films might change our, our perspective of, of things, and ultimately, in the long term, it, it, may, it may be something valuable, but there's a lot of absurdity involved as well. As you see, it, 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 makes, it, makes me, uh, it makes me into a clown. And that happens to everyone. Just look at, at Orson Welles or look at uh, even people like Truffaut, they, they have become clowns. Oh, so is that a film or is that the publicity? Is that Perry? No, it's because what, what we do as filmmakers is immaterial. It's, it's only a projection of light. And doing that all your life makes you just a clown and it's it's an almost in, inevitable process. I don't feel the same way about still photography. Yes. What? A little bit it, it comes close to it. It's illusionist's work. And and it's it's just embarrassing to be a filmmaker and to sit here like this. I mean thanks heavens I don't sit here for my own films. I'm sitting here for a for a film by a, uh, that that was made by a friend of mine. give us adequate images. We, we lack adequate images. Our civilization doesn't have adequate images. 
and I think a civilization is doomed or is going to die out like dinosaurs if it does not develop an adequate language or adequate images. I see it as a very, very dramatic situation. For example, we have uh, found out that there are serious problems facing our civilization like energy problems or environment problems or uh, nuclear power and all this uh, overpopulation of the world. But uh, generally, it is not understood yet that a um, problem of the same magnitude is that we do not have adequate images and that's what I'm working on, a new grammar of images.